So being a Sony full frame shooter, I've always had the ability to either crop in to APS-C mode or use full frame mode. And I love the flexibility that I get with that, being able to crop in if I wanna get a tighter shot or obviously stay nice and wide for a wide shot in full frame mode. But I've always wondered if I'd be better off when I'm using a crop lens, putting it in crop mode or keeping it in full frame mode and cropping it in post if I wanna get the widest possible shot. And it's always been on the back of my mind, but obviously I just put it in crop mode and just go with it. But I figured I'd do some testing, so that's what I've done. I did some test shots, some calculations, the results are in, and I'm about to tell you what is better off if you want to get the widest shot you can. Before we get into that though, if you could go down and subscribe to my channel and like this video, I'd really appreciate it. I put a lot of time and effort into these videos and it'd really help out, so go do that real quick. Anyways, let's get right into it. So the only crop lens I really have laying around right now is actually a Canon 18 to 135 crop lens. That's the only lens I had to use to test this, but obviously it's still a crop lens, it still works fine even though it's not a Sony lens. So first things first, if I throw on the Canon lens, put it in crop mode, it crops in one and a half times. If I'm at the widest I wanna go, 18 millimeters, it's gonna crop into about 27 millimeters. But now if I throw it in full frame mode, and don't crop in at all, it's just a one times crop. There's gonna be a bunch of vignetting, it's almost gonna be a circle in the middle of the frame. So on one hand, I'm gonna have a 1.5 times crop and it'll be equivalent to about 27 millimeters. On the other hand, I'll have equivalent to 18 millimeters at a one times crop, but there's, it's gonna be unusable footage unless that's what you're going for, obviously. So if I crop that in until there's no more vignetting, I'm gonna go just to the bare minimum usable crop or you can still see maybe a little bit of vignetting on the corners but obviously you can get rid of that um, in, in any editor or oh, just a simple tool and it'll kind of fix that or if you like having that a little bit on the corners just to bring it tension to the center obviously you can do that or even crop in less but for my testing I cropped in just to the bare minimum where it's not any noticeable vignetting and that would be hundred and forty percent crop in Premiere or equivalent to a 1.4 times crop so that's actually pretty surprising. That's definitely wider than a 1.5 times crop, obviously by 0.1 times crop. And if you look at how much wider of a shot it gives you, it's pretty substantial. So on this 18 millimeter widest focal length that this lens has, 1.4 times would be equivalent to about 25.2 millimeters. So just about a two millimeter focal length difference if you choose to crop it in post rather than using the crop mode on the Sony cameras. So in my opinion, that's pretty substantial if you're just trying to get the widest shot you can, but you don't have any full frame lenses, you can get quite a bit wider of a shot just cropping it in post. Now theoretically, if you're going to be editing in a wider aspect ratio like 17 by 9 or 21 by 9, you should be able to get even more width out of the shot since the vignetting is mostly going to be in the corners, you're going to have more room towards the middle of the frame where it's not going to be showing any vignetting. I haven't done any testing with this, but theoretically you should be able to get even wider of a shot if you're planning on editing or working with the footage in a 17 by 9 or 21 by 9 or any wider of an aspect ratio than 16 by 9. So in that case, cropping in a post would be even better, although it is going to be a lot more of a hassle because every single shot you take, you're going to have to crop in and you know find wherever the vignetting's gone and uh, you know worry about that in every shot. And it also will deteriorate the quality a little bit. I don't think for YouTube videos or anything that I do specifically, it'll be substantial, but depending on what you're doing, it will deteriorate the quality just a little bit by cropping in on the footage. So there you go, that answers your question and mine. Cropping in after the fact versus using the crop mode on the camera actually does allow you to get a little wider of a shot uh, by about two millimeters for an 18 millimeter focal length. Uh, it's all gonna be depending on what focal length you're using. And some lenses might have more or less vignetting, so you might be able to get even wider of a shot, or you might have to crop in just a little more. But with the 18 millimeter focal length on a crop lens, you're definitely gonna be able to get about two millimeters of a focal length difference by just cropping in after the fact. So that really wraps it up. You can use that information uh, for whatever you're gonna be working with. I know most people don't even think about it. They just put it in crop mode and shoot. So hopefully this uh, opens your mind up a little bit. If you're trying to get just that little bit of a wider shot, hopefully you enjoyed. And stay tuned for more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I'll try to answer everything. And yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.